Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Shiva Magrawal and this is the machine learning and deep learning project series in Python. We are back with another project. This will be our third project in this playlist called as wine quality prediction. So in this project, we are going to look at a data set that has some parameters related to red wine and we are going to predict the quality based on those parameters. We are going to look at the data set and from the next video, we are going to create the project from the scratch. We'll start with data cleaning, plotting, training and testing. Here in this project, you might see a new parameter here called as prediction. For the first two projects, I haven't predicted anything in the project. Although I gave you the assignment to do prediction on your own, if you can do it. If you have done it, very, very good. If you haven't, then we are going to do prediction in this project. So we are going to give some values to our model and our model is going to predict the output. So this will be a new thing in this project. So hook that up. Let's start with the data set today. So on Kaggle community platform, I have this red wine quality data set posted by UCI machine learning five years ago. However, you can see there are a lot of up upwards here. So you can see this is a very useful data set. Let us look at it. So you can see here the content. We have some input variable fields based on psychometric test, psychochemical test. The first is fixed acidity, then volatile acidity. We have citric acid, sugar, chlorides, sulfides. We have density, pH and various things that are uh, important in wine quality. Lastly, we have an output variable based on sensory data. We have quality. So the score of the quality bit will be between 0 and 10. It will be an integer between 0 and 10. It will be 0, 1, 2 and go on until 10. 10 denoting the highest quality and 0 denoting the lowest quality. So our task here would be to predict on the basis of all of these 9 or 10, 11 parameters that whether or not a wine is of high quality or not. Okay. Let us look at the data set also. So it's also telling us the data set is also telling us that the quality of greater than 6.5 is good and otherwise the quality is not very good. So a wine quality to be commercial, if a wine has to be commercial, it has to be of a good quality. No, that is why only the people will purchase it. Let us look at the columns. It is showing us 10 columns. Let me show all 12 of them. So as you can see over here, you have fixed acidity ranging between 4.6 to 15.9. We have all of these values. And lastly, we have quality output variable that is between 0 and 10. So basis of these all parameters will predict whether or not wine is of high quality or not. This is the data set that is available over Kaggle community platform. I'll be using it here from here. I'll be supplying the link to this data set to you in the description box. Also, you can download it. It is just 26 KB. You can download it right from Kaggle itself. Okay. Let us see how many downloads. So there are very large number of downloads. So you can conclude that we are working on a very uh, recycled data set that is used by a lot of community workers on Kaggle. Okay. There are a lot of contributors. I'm also one of them. If you want to contribute it on Kaggle, then welcome because Kaggle supplies you all the necessary uh, files, data and all the necessary requirement that are hardware and software requirements without uh, considering the state of your PC. Whether or not you have a high end PC or you have an old PC, you can create your project on Kaggle using Kaggle community platform. It supplies you with a notebook which has GPU, CPU, RAM and storage and you need not install any of the libraries. It has pre-installed major of the libraries that we are going to use in this project. Lastly, I want to tell you that in by the end of this project, I will also show you how to predict the quality using your own parameters. So we will be giving some our parameters that will be some acidity, some citric acid and chlorides. All of these parameters will be giving to the model and the model will be predicting the quality of the wine. Okay. That will be the project for today, red wine quality. See you in the next video with the project creation. For project creation, I will be using Kaggle notebook. 
so here you can see a node new, new notebook icon when you will open this data set using the link mentioned in the description you can see this new notebook over here don't forget to create your account on kaggle and verify your phone number verifying your phone number will give you a lot more options on kaggle such as using a gpu which we'll be using in deep learning projects in the coming videos okay so i'll be using this new notebook over here and i'll open this in new tab so we can use it directly from here so in the next video we'll start with creating this project Thank you.